We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Theo Cosmora, who is CEO of The People's Vision. Theo, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for your time and for the invite. The ICT sector has been undergoing major transformations recently. I wanted to find out from you what you think are the principal opportunities arising from these transformations. Well, as we know, we're in time of magic. And I think that as convergence accelerates, people and platforms and solutions come together. What we're seeing is nothing short of alchemy. Um, a good example is water. Two parts of hydrogen, one part of oxygen. Bring those two together, you get water. So I don't think no one knows truly what the convergence of ecosystems and solutions is going to materialize, um, is, is going to materialize as, uh, but it's magic and it's very, very exciting times for all of us. What do you think are going to be the main challenges facing people today? I think how to structure partnerships, well, A, to be aware that partnerships are absolutely necessary and the only way forward, number one. Number two, how to structure this partnership so that every stakeholder benefits and gains. As a stakeholder, not only do we need to go beyond shareholders, PPPs are well known. We need to add two more Ps to those, two Ps, so there are four Ps, and then partnerships. Public, private, people, planet partnerships. Five Ps in all. At the moment, most parties are focused just on public and private. We categorically have to bring the contributors to wealth, people, into the equation. And I think we need to bring our home, the planet, into the equation. Otherwise, it's more of the same. And how do you propose to do that? Well, we've developed a business, a, a business model called the people's business. And it's structured around Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And um, we've devised a framework focused around three categories of empowerment. Conscious empowerment, social empowerment, and economic empowerment. If people are contributing to the wealth of a community online, of a nation, of a business, I think people need to be, those who are contributing and performing, need to be given the opportunity to participate and share in that wealth. So people, the people's business brings together an ecosystem of solutions, ranging from social, business and e-commerce networking, collaboration solutions, um, interaction with other external networks, um, mobile payment solutions uh, based on IVR, really easy to use, um, where you can send money from any phone number to any phone number. We partner with local banks and telcos um, and to hardware solutions. All our solutions uh, connect with existing systems which have been put in place by governments and the UN, uh, such as the Millennium Development Goals. We've got two and a half more years to achieve the MDGs, and right now the capacity to, to achieve them is restricted by the lack of solutions that are readily available to consumers. So we've developed um, a range, for example, of, mob of mobile devices. And if I may show this, this is um, the first ever MDG branded phone. Uh, it's got two SIM card slots inside. And it's perfect for airlines, for example, to sell on board and promote the MDGs. Now, there's a commercial margin in there for all parties to benefit, airlines, people, promoters, telcos, banks, all parts can participate in promoting and achieving the MDGs. 2015 is two and a half years away. In a race, you only win once you've crossed the line. Crossing the line of the MDGs is a long, long time away. A lot can be achieved. We've just got to focus on them and come, up and come around with solutions which are economically um, sharing with all parties to achieve the MDGs. Then we can go to the sustainable development goals but we've got to focus on achieving the MDGs and ICT solutions such as this little baby. Um, this just sells for £20, £19.99. Um, and we can create so much awareness if all airlines, national airlines, were advised or requested by their governments who've signed up to the MDGs to sell these online and promote the MDGs. So let's get on with them. And what's been the response like so far? Everyone wants it. Everyone wants one. It's just so cute. Uh, it's got two SIM card slots. Telcos can put their own SIM cards so they continue to make revenue from it. Airlines can have their own branded SIM card. Um, airlines, NGOs can have their own brand up there, so it's co-design. Um, everyone benefits, and that's what the MDGs are all about. All the people of the planet working together to bring about solutions which make the world a better place for all people.
And finally, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. What for you makes this a key event? I think the talent, the imagination, the visions, the passion. You see passion all over the place. Um, and the focus that together we can collectively make the world a better place. That's what's, that's what makes me passionate about being here. I'm very excited about meeting the kind of brilliant minds which are all over the place here at ICT. Well, we wish you the very best of luck with your projects and thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Max. Thank you.